I really, really enjoy looking at attractive women. Like, I want to see every version of an attractive woman. You know, high, short, tall, long, skinny, big girl, small girl, all pretty stuff. I, I could do that all day. I could just, just sit and look. You know what I mean? But, you know, I don't want them to come too close to me. Don't come to me. Don't stay over there. But yeah, but just because you're probably crazy as and you everything. When 50 says things like this, it really helps you understand why he's not out here with eight, nine, 10 baby mamas like some of these rappers out here. And even more so, it gives you a glimpse into why he's been able to be so successful beyond rap music. And really, I think the point he's trying to make is, yeah, go ahead if you want. You could waste your time chasing after beautiful women. But understand, it just may come at a price that may not be worth it. No one gotta find out. It could be a secret. No, no, no. Alright, so I guess he's loyal, I guess. I guess, yeah, he is. Were, were you nervous? No. How, how you feel about this? It's what I Wait, what, what do you what do you mean by that? I mean I don't really What? What do you mean by that? I mean I just feel like you deserve better anyways. Emotional damn it. But he passed though. What? Like is there something you gotta say? I just sent some type of like awkward energy right here, so Can I be honest? Honest about what? What do you, what do you mean, I honest? I have a question on you ever since middle school. But wait! There's more! Oh, uh, I don't... And, and I know you didn't swing that way. That's why I was just pretending to be your friend all these years. What? Wait, what? I don't look at you like that. I know that's... Rejected. Man, she gonna cry when she get in the car. Not only was she rejected by the boyfriend, but then she was also rejected by her best friend as well. And this just goes to show how little game so many women have. She put herself in the friend zone for years, only to end up getting rejected. Not once, but twice. It's like, yeah, I'll, like, I'll hang out with you. So, what's up, let me get your number. All right, bet. Oh, shit, less. <laughs> okay, cool. Hey, better hurry up for my name. What's your number? <laughs> Seven Wait, you say three. you said what? You have a boyfriend. Me up. Seven one three. So you have a boyfriend. You're giving me your number. He's not my boyfriend. Why the f you lying? Why you always lying? Okay, okay, okay. Just a friend. No, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. Something is wrong here. Dead giveaway. Dead Charles, giveaway. Charles, thank you very Dead much. Dead giveaway. Should he have any control over what you wear when you go out? Oh hell no. What? No, 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 Shit. no. If, if Shouter no. wears something a little too bit revealing, you know what I mean? I should have a bit say so just because, like, you were a reflection of me. No. If that makes sense. No. I walked out here she in this on, mini, she on mini that skirt. Feminine shit. She on right, because I'm a woman shit. of 2023. No, and no, I feel she like look women, women can wear what they want to wear. Like look, you I shouldn't look. have to talk to my look, husband look, look, about look. wearing what I should wear, you look, know? You right find like someone but at the same time no. also be respectable and respect your no. husband you hear me? if i want to wear a bralette i can wear a bralette out you shouldn't i should have to ask for his permission i should have just no thing on your titties out my, not saying we, my titties we're breaking out. up we're breaking up we're breaking up in the underwear up. that's what i'm saying i know a man hey, no, I mean, no, that's cool a man night, should not be able a man no a man should not be able to tell a woman what she should and should not wear it's 2023 if there are flying cars yeah 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 that means men cannot tell women what they should wear go back to Three, that's period. Let's see that's what not happens. anything. <laughs> let's see what you happens. should not be able to tell me what I have to wear. You that's not, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no. Run! Run! If wrong is strong was a person, I'm glad he stood up for himself, at least, and kept on going. I agree with him, 100%. It's self-respect and respect your man as well. And this is just a public service announcement. Just because you're the loudest person in the room, doesn't mean you're right. You know, I find it so interesting that women like her who have this mentality where they are still operating like they are a single woman. And the fact that she would completely dismiss the thoughts and the feelings of someone who she is supposed to have so much respect, love, and trust for 
tells you everything you need to know about the kind of woman she is and the confines of a relationship. And the fact of the matter is, what she's displaying is an inability to be able to look long term into the future. Because if you choose to be the kind of woman who lacks the awareness to think, maybe I should hear him out. This is my man. I trust, love, and respect him, so I will not do anything purposely to undermine that. Don't be surprised when he pulls the rug from underneath you and decides to move on. Because no man that has enough respect for himself is going to choose to stay committed to a woman who has shown herself to be argumentative, combative, and outright disrespectful. Because she is what you will call a walking red flag. And he needs to be on his way so that way she can buy a dog. Die alone. Legs locked. Up. One. Two. Three. Okay. Four. All right. Hit it, big boy. See what you got. All right. Your turn. All right, now see, you see how I did it. Now let me see you do it like I did it. Arms, arms out. Okay. All right. Like, like that. Like yes. Right. Pay attention. I told you how to do it. Now let me see you do it. One. On this. This is good, right? How's my phone? Get it, man. Don't ask me for nothing, all right? I just wanted to share that because I thought it was hilarious. I'm 36 years old, and I work out pretty consistent, pretty much on a regular basis. But I got a 20-year-old nephew whose testosterone is pumping at 100 miles an hour, and he's just a constant reminder that you can't outrun father time. You know, it baffles me the amount of women that are like, I would never let my husband tell me what to do. I'm not his child. And these same women, they'll go to work. Their boss says, hey, I need you to turn this in by 5 p.m. They say, yes, sir. The HR manager says, hey, I need you to stop saying this to your employees. They say, okay. The trash man says, I need you to put your trash cans beside the road on Wednesday mornings. They say, okay, and they do it. The speed limit sign says, don't go past 65. Guess what? They don't go past 65. The nurse says, hey, you have this condition. I need you to take this medicine. They say, okay. Their single friend will say, girl, you don't need to do this for your husband. You need to tell him this, this, and this. And they say, I can trust you. You're the expert. Literally everybody else in the world will tell them, jump, and they say how high, and they do it. But when your husband, who has a covenant with God to protect and provide for you, tells you, hey, I don't think you should do this. Yes, you should do this. No, you should not do this. It's a problem and you're oppressed. <sighs> you know, too many times we hear women talk about how they want a man to be a leader, a provider, a protector, someone who they can love and trust to make the right decisions. But when they say that, they still want to be able to move in such a way that is not in sync with that man. But what they fail to realize is that when you're dealing with a man who has those core qualities, he is going to exercise demonstrating and using those qualities. And it just does not make any sense that you would desire, search, and commit to a man that possesses those traits only to turn around and completely disrespect and ignore him. So when we got married, first got married, I told her, I said, hey, if, if you get mad at me or we get upset, I'll go in the next room. You ain't going to your mom and I'm not running to my mom. Mm -hmm. We ain't running and telling them nothing that's happening in here because this is between you and me. I think the whole concept of love, commitment, and marriage is not in its proper place today. A lot of females feel like love is butterflies in your stomach, looking perfect all the time. He's smelling good and he treating you like royalty all the time. That's not reality. It's not just a feeling when you love somebody. It's a decision that you've chosen this person and you're gonna be committed to this person. Listen, plain and simple, people think just because nowadays you got more choices on the menu, that means you're gonna have a better choice than what you already chose. Anyway, guys, I hope I left you with something to laugh about, something to think about, something to talk about with this video. As always, let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Always appreciate hearing back from you. If you haven't already, but you have been enjoying the content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more, and you already know. Until next time.